Right, welcome back to uh, Heritage Farms, um, or Heritage Farm. I'm going to do a bit of grass cutting today. This is all part of my attempt to put off having to uh, having to uh, load those bales as long as possible. But I need some grass anyway to put into the silage pit. So uh, we'll have a go and see what happens. I'm just going to. Uh, I think we take this on two, it should be about right. Now I'm using the, uh, this is the John Deere cutter, I've got both cutters here, I'm going to do a little bit with both of them. I'm going to do this out of care because I, I can't see really where I'm going. Very well in cab at the moment. Uh, let's get it. Onto the field, it's and it's un unfold it, start it up, lower it down, and away we go. Now, this is right at the edge of what the JD mob I can take, and in real life, I don't think it would quite manage to drag this, but the, we're not going to. Oh, too much of a real life. I'll just do a little bit of mowing. I might better just pull up one more gear, I think. Find out a pull up. Yeah, that seems alright, but here we take a full while now. I have my one operation, but not to the map, but to one of its equipment, the potato planter. I've got I decided 2,000 litres of potatoes in there it was far too much, so I'll knock it down to now 500. May knock it down a bit more. It just uh, seems a little bit too big. Especially when you consider the seed is of between 100 litres and I think 300 litres or, or 210 litres, I can't remember exactly how many. So the that uh, that's been cut back a bit. So I might might cut it down a bit more once we see how it goes. I'm going to do a couple of rounds with this, and I'm going to bring the uh, forward cutter in. And we're getting both work. Now this is the one I'm going to use mainly. I think on here. I'm not too worried whether I uh, cut everything. Then we're going to have to try and just wind roll this. Now we get the forage wagon in. To, uh, to forage it and we take it up to the uh, cattle yard and put it into the, into the bunker. This time we used the bunker, if you remember on the classic one I actually had a pit so I wasn't so happy with the pit. I think once we've got that there we might just turn this round and come in on the other side so we won't see Turn this round so we actually drive on the cut portion. I should have some idea how well we're going then. So I'm going to do one, one more roll like this and we'll change it all back again. I'm going to miss a lot so I sh I'm not going to worry too much about missing it. Follow through roughly where we are. We'll just drive on the cut bit. That should give us a reasonable, a reasonable cut bit. As you see, we're going uphill here, so it's a little bit heavier going. I'm going to go all up the side, all the way around this. I'm just going to swap over. So I'm going to finish off using this one, <laughs> mainly because I like using this old John Deere so much. I'll dump one or two bits of equipment I didn't want. Um, 
I've got rid of the combine harvester, the bar combine harvester. Um, I'm going to attempt to do everything with the uh, tractor drawn harvester. Now we've still got about a day away from the uh, maize eight and I think two days away the probably from the potatoes as they're normally a day later than everything else. They have one extra day's crop stage. So they have to come to flower, then die off. a couple of turns on that and then we can ship our start the up and down so don't think we'll get this all cut today but let's put the brake on there we go it's the one we want so this one I'm going to have to uh, a bit formal lot again I'll have you cruise on this one right. this one actually lifts as well the other one doesn't lift it's down all the time so it's going it. See how we. Oh. Get into the driver's seat and try and get back on course. If anybody knows what sort of speed you'd normally be doing with this equipment, please let me know. I think I was go I'm going too fast with the actual combine. I'm guessing the cedar will be fairly slow. As well as the beet and potato harvesters should be fairly slow. I say they still are, just basically. Potato harvesting, a good man can walk as quick. I know you probably wouldn't be driving on the cut portion, but you also didn't don't want to drive on the uncut portion. This will be the only time I think I cut this metal, but now on once we get this season underway, it will be whichever field is planted in grass will be the one we use for the silage and for the sheep. So do a couple of laps and we should start going up and down. And as always, any suggestions for equipment, mainly not tractors. Um, it's a limit to the amount of tractors I want to bring into the farm. I'm really up more than I need now, but that's partly because I've got to have that uh, M MTZ in because I want a front loader. And I've got to have the book in because I also want a bucket front load, I'm not going to use the MTZ, it's got too big a bucket. If I'm going to make it hard, I'm going to make it hard for myself. We may go a little bit faster than And I'm not going to start seeing when what man went to mow. You'll be happy to know. I certainly think they seem to work better, these two side cutters, than the ones in the classic pack. I, I had them picking in all, all, all over the place. Look, 
Well, not on this medal to be off, to be honest about it. I don't think it's a flat field. Oh, and by the way, the grass I've got in that field, I can't remember which one it was, or possibly. I can't do anything about it. I had a good plan at one point. I looked in GE and it just looks too awkward to, to remove it. Well, at least for me. Someone who knows the way around GE can be afraid to do it. So we're going to have to just stick with that grass in the middle of in the field. Ah, oh, we'll do one more on this one. I think we've got some low points on this field. Yeah, we have. Don't know if this one actually goes as low as the other one. I should actually keep it on course. But then again, fields ain't uh, really a table smooth anyway. As you can see, it's early in the morning and the lighthouse is still flashing away. It's half seven in the morning. And I think I can get away with one drop stage per day. I hope. If it gets too much, I will increase the drop stage to two days per drop stage. Yeah, this is this is skipping a lot. I'm gonna try the other one to see if that skips as much. I get indication the other one runs a bit lower, a bit closer to the ground. But we shouldn't want too much uh, grass, at least I hope not. Don't know how big that uh, BGA off oh, the BGA that bunker is as yet I haven't tested it. Take this one out of here and we'll just move this into here. As you see, I'll put move all the equipment into this area now. Almost everything is here. This track but it's very low. Park that here, I think. So I'll go a little bit further back. That's up. Just unhook it. Right up and shut it down and go back to this one again. I always wonder whether this one's going to start or not. Let's just see if this does do any lower. Unfold it. Might not, but yeah, this one does run a bit lower, so I think we better for this. I'll just run around these bits we're missed. What I hope to do is get most of this cut in the next quarter and hour, 20 minutes, and then next time we will win row it and then collect it and run it up to the uh, Bunker. Oh yes, better. Yeah, this is a better cut of this John there. The field too. The forward one looks more modern than this one. This looks a lot older. Idea. One problem with this is that it doesn't uh, lift. Oh, okay. 
to stop trying to go up and down there. Okay, turn all the way in. Well, not that it really matters whether we go up and down or not, does it? <laughs> trying to get some of these bits I missed. Start to annoy me after well, that shouldn't take too long actually, but they were there. A lot of the crew's running their foot down on the pedal all the time. There would be a rudimentary cruise on these, actually, that's what they call hand throttle, which you can actually hold in a particular place. But uh, I think this has got a hand throttle. You yeah, can't see it. Probably this one hasn't. But let's pretend it has. Easier for my poor old foot. I think we're near that tidy bit, bit up there. We can start getting a bit closer to the edge or to the uh, uncut. Thing. Yes, I finished off harvest. It took quite a while to fish it off. It's about six, seven o'clock night uh, by the time I'd finished. Well, I think it's six o'clock night and I spent another hour mowing stuff around and just clear these bits up. Time for a quick drink and then a quick start. Don't drink and drive. Do that. That's a bit better. Get my uh, voice back. I haven't uh, released uh, the previous one as yet. But time I'm making this so if there have been any comments on that I can't I can't answer them I like as I, as I said before I'd like to have an, on most of my series one week ahead it uh, means that if something should happen I, sh I just don't feel like making them with the exception of smoke down in old ridge I have I have videos to post. Oh. Oh, getting, we are getting there. We might even start to win it. Not so much to be used on the wind row. Much I enjoy driving the John Deere, I don't think I can use the John Deere for everything. Well yeah, I have to use this, it's about the only one I've got well apart from the Pal Palmer and the uh, MTZ 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 yeah, MTZ with a three point rear hitch. And this, I believe, uh, Kyle has uh, wrote in the description, this has an aftermarket hitch on, which is quite commonly done when uh, the uh, three points were first coming out. Not every manufacturer fit them. I know that the uh, Field Marshal or Marshals who make a Field Marshal in Britain were very late in fitting three points. So a lot of... Uh, they had a a lot of aftermarket three points put on. <coughs> Excuse me. I think my voice is uh, failing me. And stop all cheering.
Yes, a lot of manufacturers didn't think you needed hard takeoffs at the back of three points. They were, they were still remembering the days of both tr oh, horse and cart, and just after that, of course, traction engines, where everything was dragged. As soon as I've got everything in the house, we will then start doing the, um, oh, the sort of sell yet, of course. But, uh, of course, I'd better really move the bars before I sell. No one will forgive me if I put it off too many more weeks. Because I know everybody's waiting to have a good laugh, and I'm not looking forward to doing it. I do not like building bars by hand. Which is why on most of my maps I don't even buy all. Yeah. Might as well just chomp along here and come down this side. Miss that bit out completely. It's a lovely ancient mill on this thing. I think it's by pull of profit uh, on one of them. It's nice having this. Once every lamp post far, far in those cylinders. And this thing is, I have to fill it. I had to fill it up once. It got down to about three liters of fuel in the tank. It only holds about 14, 15 liters. Anyway. Think about the tractors, and then they were they were built to be very economic. But of course, with the need for more power, bigger engines had to be used, higher revs. It's all it was more uh, diesel being burned, or kerosene, or petrol. Well, of course, as we know in Britain, kerosene was par with paraffin. Or also in the farm community, you know, there's uh, tractor vaporizing oil. And those things wouldn't start on paraffin, they had to be started on the paraffin. And once they got warm, you switched them over to paraffin. And they'd run the rest of the day. <coughs> trying to uh, win roll this. I'm going to attempt the uh, other win roll. I used the belt one mainly last time. I'm going to try the other one. I'm not going to bother to make it to the hay because no real need for it. Okay, not realistic, but uh, I bet I need this stuff as the grass anyway to put into the uh, bunker. Well, as I say to myself, I'm not making a too bad hand of this. I wonder when the uh, lighthouse decides it's light enough for the, uh, for the ships to see it. Tractor drivers are past, I actually cook them. It's a 
you didn't have any music in your cab. It was just you out there working all day on one roughly small field. And it was hard work because a lot of this stuff would make there'd be no power steering. These things had to be forced round with sheer strength. You missed some there. Well, I'm gonna hope we don't need it. In. This should almost be the last pass I would have thought. Yes. Let's just catch some of this on the right. Around to the exit. I don't think it's much here. Onto road speed, a mighty nine mile an hour. Yes, I've got time to do a couple of quick passes with the uh, wind roller with the rake. I've got giant uh, rake, but not uh, not actually bought. But I have got on here, of course, a small. One at the uh, pack. No, I'm not going to do it with the imp ball here. Now, where's that going? Now, the things. This. doesn't have a very good break on it. What I need to do, I think, to turn it. Side on. I want to put it in. Let's tuck it in here. That looks like the tether there. Yeah. Don't want it. And what I think we're all going to see work is this: the corn picker. I'm um, just trying to see where that's the belt one. I'm not going to use the belt one this time. I use the other one. I need to find where it is. <laughs> Must be along here somewhere. Oh, come on, where are you? Show yourself. Oh, marvellous, I can't find it. Let's see, that's a cultivator. Oh. Certainly, I've got it on here. Let's see if we can see where it is. I'm going to probably walk past it twice. Um, Oh, it's just tools. You hot? Oh, it's not with the rest of the stuff. Ah, that's, that's on the other field with the, where the bales are. I hope this, I hope it doesn't need a three point of it. Does I can't use this. Get on the roads, roads, uh, gear. It should be in here somewhere. Uh, 
I mean, you might know as I have actually practiced a bit and got one vial on. Ah, there it is. Let me take this thing. The New Holland. I'm just hoping that isn't a three point. It's a lot cool. I will have to get the hit. The John Deere again, that's not a three point. Alright. Doesn't look like there's anything else needed. And you see weeds have already started to grow in here. So, I don't want bones over there because it could well be a, a ditch around the edge. Now we've got to check which way around to take this thing. I you know, found the uh, the belt a lot easier to use. Um, I did do a little bit on this, but I'm going to this way to throw it into the field. I want, away, want it away from the edge if I can. No, first thing I need to do is slow down. Take it down a second for now. Uh, there we go. We're we'll spending. So far, we're getting 10 minutes. That might be another 40 minute episode, but. I get caught up on this and I enjoy playing with this old gear so much that I can't stop. I'm going to get back inside the cab and just try and guess. Now the width of the, the thing is going to be the problem because I won't have a clue how wide to make the uh, wind roll. Pull it in from the outside first. And I'll do a couple of three around the outside and we start pulling up and down hopefully. I think we're pulling this in quite well. I'm going to have a look of course. I will go all over the show. Look, I want to uh, cruise again. This one has got a hand throw. Switch it up. Switch that all. Pack it up a bit. There we go. And we're going to go away from here, so I'm going to take another one in the same direction. This time I'm coming out of the cab just to get some idea of where we're where we're going. I think I'm making this wind roll far too wide.
morning. I'm doing a better job than I did when I attempted it with the uh, rotaries, the rotary one from the uh, classic farming pack. This, of course, if you didn't know, is from the small farm pack. So there's some mainly older gear, but there's some slightly, slightly more modern. I will we'll actually Google some of the equipment. I know it's all true to life, but uh, let's find out a bit about it. I reckon we could actually, if I go on these, another one up. Another mile an hour up. Oh, I thought that is. Exceeding is going to have to be very slow. Exceedingly slow. Sorry about that. Uh, bad pun. Uh, I think the best bit is to switch that off again. I think we should both start going up and down here. Yeah? Which way will that be killed? I'll be thrown it. Let's see, we can back this thing up and down. I can't back modern stuff up, I ain't really got hope of back this up. Right. Oh, it's going to be this way, it's going to go up and down. That looks more like the whip I need. Oh, that's got all so bad. Right, I think what we will do is we'll get a screenshot, and I think this will do the screenshot. And I'm then going to do my wine down, and we'll finish this off and collect it next time. And get into the bunker with a bit of luck. Oh yeah, I want that with you. But yeah. Lighthouse in the background. So with that I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. If you like what you saw please leave a like. If you have any information on this old machinery or know whether it's more old machinery for Farm and Sim 15, good old machinery. Preferably if you've got any potato or beet harvest you know of, which are better than the ones I've got, or a potato plant which is better than what I've got, please let me know. And then we'll carry on doing this with we in the wind down. So if you like what you saw, please leave a like, as I said. Um, if you're not a subscriber and wish to subscribe, please do so. I'm always happy to see new subscribers. <coughs> see if we can get around there without falling in the ditch. Just. Um, any comments, queries, questions, suggestions, Please uh, feel free to uh, to post them. Oh, we're just a bit done. We've got made a real mess of this, but uh, we should uh, get this up. Damn, this is gone a bit quicker than I thought. I most probably will be uh, mowing those bales you know, on the second day. Oh dear! <coughs> oh dear! Oh dear! Right, with that, it's me, I'm saying cheerio for now. Cheerio.